Hey guys, Sim is Dim Gaming here. Capcom released a new trailer for Resident Evil 4 Remake, the final trailer I believe, with a new trailer that comes a new breakdown video, as always as I do on my channel. In the video we're going to break down the new weapons, returning weapons, and also things like the body armor vest which we can see in the trailer. We'll start off with the new weapons as there aren't that many of them, there are a lot more returning weapons. The first one is the MP5. As you can see in the screenshot I'm going to display now, Leon's running around with an MP5. I'm pretty sure there wasn't an MP5 in any capacity in the original Resident Evil 4, so that's going to be quite exciting to use, as it means the TMP isn't going to be the only submachine gun. From what I can see, that's the only new weapon per se. One of the first looks of a returning weapon we get to see in this trailer is that of the Broken Butterfly. I'm going to post a screenshot here, let me know what you think, but I'm pretty certain this is the Broken Butterfly. If you zoom in, it's definitely a revolver and it looks like it has that hinge that's quite iconic on the Broken Butterfly. The Broken Butterfly itself being a mashup, I believe, of a single action army and a Schofield revolver definitely taking more inspiration from the Schofield Revolver. However, it could also be a new weapon, we just don't know. Another of the returning weapons we get to see for the first time in this trailer is the Blacktail. The Blacktail was one of my personal favourites in Resident Evil 4, it was a great pistol, and I'm happy to see it return. Now the Blacktail in real life is based on a Glock. I believe it's more based on a Glock 19 because it's smaller rather than a Glock 17, but nonetheless, really excited to be using this. This will probably be my go-to pistol. Next up returning is the Riot Gun, or more commonly known in the real world as the Benelli M4 Shotgun. It's a pump slash semi-automatic shotgun. It'll be interesting to see in Resident Evil 4 if it's semi-auto or pump. I believe by the looks of things it's going to be semi-auto, but you never know. One of my favourite shotguns also in the game, I normally always switched over to the riot gun instead of the original shotgun, it was just better in most ways in my opinion. Really looking forward to running that again, as it was great in Resident Evil 3 Remake. Finally it's not so much a weapon, but it is something that is returning. In this screenshot you can see the tactical vest attachment that Leon gets in Resident Evil 4 is returning. Although it looks a little bit more like his body armor vest he wore in the RPD incident in Resident Evil 2 Remake. If you look to the bottom right of the screenshot you can see the minimalist HUD. As you can see you can also see a little body armor vest symbol. I think that's quite cool. Just in case you forget I guess that you've got the body armor on or you haven't loaded up your save for a while you'll be able to tell. It'll be interesting to see what stats the body armor gives you and what it nullifies. That's it for the breakdown per se, let me know what you th guys think in the comments below. I'm looking forward to seeing what attachments we'll get for the new weapons. I say weapons, there could be more that they won't reveal until the game comes out. It'd be cool to see the MP5 potentially maybe get a suppressor or a red dot or something like that, but we won't know until we play the game. What are your predictions guys? What other new weapons do you think will be in the game? Personally it would be cool to see something like a Spaz-12 shotgun or an M79 grenade launcher. But that's just on my wish list. What's on yours? As always guys, this is Simmers Dim Gaming, and I'll see you in the next one.